Bonjour, je m'appelle Andrew. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of potassium oxide. I've created a nice little table to help us out. Watch how quick and simple this is. Bam, so the first step is we're going to write down the elements we see in the compound. So we have potassium, we have oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If you don't see a subscript for a particular element, just put in a 1. So there's 2 potassium, 1 oxygen. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of the element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So let's take a look. So we have potassium here, 39.10, and we have oxygen over here, 16. So let's write that on down. So we got 39, 39.10, and we have 16 for oxygen. Next, we're going to find the total mass of each element of the compound by simply multiplying this row on a cross. So the total mass of potassium is going to be 78.20, and the total mass of oxygen is just going to be 16. And then that almost looked like 16W, right? Um, then we're going to add these together. So the total mass here is going to be 94.20. And the units here are going to be in terms of atomic mass units or AMU because we're solving for molecular mass. That's all there is to it. If you can like and subscribe, help us out. We'd love to help you with more videos as well. Check out our channel. we got thousands of them. All right. See you soon. Au revoir.